Hello there, I'm Tom Watring. Um, I'm an AP, IA mechanic. I specialize in rebuilding engines. The little Continental engines are one of my favorites and quite popular with both the certified world and the experimental world. This particular little engine is one I built for John. It's a Continental O200 for a Zenith 750 Cruiser. Um, some of the highlights from the rebuild on this engine. The uh, normal items, uh, crankshaft has been reground, uh, new bearings fitted, uh, camshaft, cam followers, all inspected or reground, uh, brand new cylinder assemblies, uh, all the typical stuff that you do in a, in a usual engine rebuild. John's picking it up today. It's going to be installed on his airplane and ready to run. The bulk of my business is rebuilding uh, certified airplane engines for the uh, standard category type aircraft. Um, I can build usually three to five of these experimental engines a year as I come across the, uh, good, ec good usable parts at an economical price. Uh, the home builders are always on the, the savvy end of the price range. But uh, uh, all good parts went into the engine, uh, some certified, some not certified and mostly new really but good little engines why is the o200 a viable choice for the experimental market as opposed to some of the other choices where you can buy new and maybe has a little more higher tech so the vendors tell me well first off the continental o200 is an airplane engine it's not a converted engine they've been around forever their reliability is well proven uh, there's really nothing drastically new about them. I call it state-of-the-art 1930s technology. Uh, Air-cooled, carbureted, magneto ignition. You really don't get any simpler or dependable than an airplane engine. That's what it's designed to do. But the, uh, the newer engines, of course, are newer, but you can't argue with the Continental O200. In the long run, if you are to have, I have a problem, uh, parts availability, everybody has parts. There's even competition in the parts market. Not just Continental makes parts for these engines, but there's also other vendors for parts. So there is some competition. You don't have to go just to the ma manufacturer in order to get the part. And it, it does add up to a cost savings in the long run for the consumer. Um, all the other engines, I can't badmouth them. They're good engines, but Certified airplane engines are, are my bread and butter, so that's pretty much what I build and sell. Sometimes the customer will send me a core engine that he's acquired, and then I'll tear it down, evaluate it, and use what's good on it, buy new parts. Sometimes the customer will contact me and just want an engine for his airplane, and then I'll piece and parts uh, one together for him. But... Um, Usually it's cheaper to have me buy the parts than to have the customer buy the parts because typically the customer will end up either getting taken or um, just not knowing what to look for when he purchases it. And um, I do a pretty good job of buying stuff and my wife accuses me of spending a lot of money. Gotcha. And I, I noticed something on this engine. It looks like a an oil filter. That wasn't uh, stock back in 1940, was it? So that's like a new, a nice new addition that can be added. Technology has moved on. I recommend an oil cool or oil filter for everyone who uh, has an airplane engine. Um, it actually does increase the TBO time when you put an oil filter on it, but it's nice to have fully filtered oil. Originally, they just had a screen. Um, and about saving weight, this idea of these new starters, for example, that looks very high-tech compared to the original one that was on there. Those are readily available? and um, Well, the original starter was almost identical to the Delco starter that was used on a tractor. And um, it's heavy. It's old. Um, they work good, but technology has moved on in that area. You get... Quite a bit of weight savings going by the, the newer lightweight starters. There's several starters available. Um, this is a very uh, cost effective starter, the SkyTech starter, and it actually fits all the little Continentals that have the ability to have a starter.